John Gill's exposition of the Bible text, and every earthen vessel, whereinto any of them falleth, whatsoever is in it shall be unclean, and ye shall break it. Leviticus 11:33. Commentary. And every earthen vessel, whereinto any of them falleth, any of the above eight reptiles, should they by chance fall into the midst an earthen vessel, whatsoever is in it shall be unclean. If it only by falling touched the outside of it, it was not unclean, but if it fell into it, then whatever was contained in it was unclean, for, as Jarki says, an earthen vessel does not pollute or receive pollution, but from the air of it, from its inside. And ye shall break it, other vessels might be put into water and rinsed, and so be cleansed, but earthen vessels, being of no great value, were to be broken in pieces an emblem this, as Ainsworth suggests, of the dissolution of our bodies, which are as earthen vessels, and of the destruction of sin thereby, and of the entire removal of it by death.